Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming. And welcome to the Town of Light. This is a game that is inspired by a real-life asylum that is in Italy. It's abandoned now. It got shut down a long time ago uh, for, um, you know, cruel practices. Um, but anyways, oh, and actually, before we even start, let me show you. I didn't even know this, but the physical copy of this game... Uh, actually comes with uh, some little uh, postcard type deals that are, these are actual real photographs of the actual real asylum that this game is based on. Here, let's do a, let's do a zoom in so you can see it better. Ah, there we go. Okay, so. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And there's like a shot of it from the air, and then from the outside. Huh. So anyways, I thought that was kind of cool and a nice little surprise. I didn't even know about that. Um, but anyways, we'll start a new game here and get it going. Uh, the Town of Light. This is a very important warning, so I'm going to read it to you, because just on the off chance that this really messes with anyone out there, uh, you should know this. The Town of Light is based on real events, places, and research concerning mental illness and the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing. The characters and names are fictitious, and any reference to people living or dead is purely coincidental. The game uses an artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. Okay, so, now that all of the boring shit's out of the way, let's get to it. 1942, so this is back when the asylum was open. So we play as Renee, and she was in this What's asylum happened? when she was younger. What is this place? And then... Maybe... Maybe I'm dead. She comes back to the asylum. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. After it's been closed. I can't get up. Because... What's going on? What's happening to me? Her memory of what happened here is a bit foggy, and she's trying to here, piece it all together. These noises... God, my head is... And so supposedly as we go throughout I can't keep my eyes open. We will interact with different objects and things that will trigger her memories. Reality fades away and my skin has gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. So apparently in Ray Renee here, she deals with depression. Um so the game apparently takes a real it, it, it's the game is kind of like a, a take on depression, so it gets kind of serious. Um and it's not your traditional horror game either. It's more of a psychological thriller. Uh, in the sense that it's, like, um, more visually disturbing and not, like, jump scares. It's, like, atmospherically tense, but it's not, like... I don't even I don't even know if there's any enemies, to be honest with you. I don't think there is. I think it's purely narrative. I was... I did read that there will be choices in the game that we'll have to make at certain times, and that there are four different endings that we can get that can result anywhere from Renee living happily ever after to devolving deeper into her, uh depression and not doing so well with that. Okay. Oh, well, the pacing isn't too bad. This is a very, uh, this is a very beautiful, uh, beautiful environment. Of course, now we're on the outside. So anyways, this is the present day, I think, where we come back. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, that didn't even make any noise. That did, though. Taco flashlight. Oh, okay, cool. At least I can see in the dark this way. I'm not really going out of my way to look for items or anything because I'm almost, I'm almost positive that this is, hello. What good is this to me? I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can rotate, I can, I can look at the things. Can I mess with shit on it? Or can I only look at it? It's not letting me interact with it at all. Nothing of particular note. No? 
just there to rotate. Okay. Um, also, I'm going to refrain from using the term walking simulator because I've decided that that's a... Wait a minute. There's a... Oh, no. Those are empty cigarette boxes. Because I've decided that it's a pretty redundant term considering that pretty much every video game has you walking somewhere or doing something. Um, not only is it a stupid, redundant, insulting term, but it's also not even accurate. Oh, there's a note on here. How do I... Oh, okay, I can read it on there, I think. I can only read the top one, though. The other ones must be too faded. It says... There's text over here. But it says, uh, Julia K. distressed, but held up by their faith, her mother, Irene E., father, Eric, and sister, Martha, deliver the grievous news. Uh, the funeral will take place... Uh, okay. So this is just an obituary. Oh, and apparently the developers, when they went into, the, uh, when they made this game, they actually visited this asylum, uh, the ab the actual real abandoned asylum, to get a, so, like, this is supposed to be, like, a, um, a very, uh, uh, what's the word, not loyal, but, um, accurate, uh, virtual representation of what the asylum actually looked like on the inside, once we actually get in the fucking thing, where the hell is it, where do we go? I don't think it's this way, because we started off facing the other way. But maybe that was, I don't know, part of it. I don't, I don't know. Hello? Am I wasting my time here? Well, since I'm looking around and don't know what the hell to do or where to go anyways, I'll tell you what I was going to say before. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a video on why I think we should stop using the term walking simulator. Do I need to go over here, maybe? Do I sneak through here? Climb up some stuff, maybe. Can I get these tires? There's no jump button! I might be doing a video about that, though, why I think we should stop using that term, walking simulator. And did I get stuck? Am I stuck now? What have I done? Oh, no, I can get through the trees. Okay. Um, so I won't go into it here, but uh, from now on, I'm going to start calling them first-person narrative exploration games. Although the developers have called this one a psychological thriller, so that's what I'm going to go with for the sake of uh, maintaining accuracy to what the developer has actually, you know, claimed it to be. Since it's their project and they created it, they get the final say in the matter regardless. <laughs> so that's how I've always felt. I've always felt like if something belongs to you, if it's your property... Oh, I like this music. I don't know why I didn't bother just go through that gate in the first place. Oh, look! We're already eight minutes in, and we're just now seeing the opening credits. That's my bad. I'm so sorry. Anyways. Well, how could you expect people not to want to explore in that area? So many things to look at. It is cool. It is cool that that comes up right as you turn the corner and get on the asylum, though. Ah, that's some creative direction that I can appreciate right there, boy. Yeah, that's that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> But yeah, I've always felt like that. Hello, oh, I see a secret way over here. Huh? That I heard a fence make a noise. I'll be with you momentarily. I'm gonna go see what's in this hole over here because it's piqued my interest. Is this just a shortcut back down to this way? Kind of feels like it. Although I couldn't get over here on this side before. There wasn't an option. Hello. Oh. How do I... There we go. I almost forgot how to flashlight for a minute. Ooh. Well, this looks spooky. What have we here? The increasing number of cases of attempted suicide requires that a definitive stand be taken against this behavior. Our current position is to consider these behaviors as highly deviant, disgraceful, and unpatriotic, especially in the case of young girls. Please provide us with an enlightenment on the subject. Ille illegible signature. Um, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, this was back in the day when they were doing, like, horrible, inhumane things on people in these... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Trophy scared me there. But I have a, I, I got a trophy called The Cellar. I don't know which side my face game is going to be on now, so I'm telling you now just in case it's covering it. That's what it was called. It must have been for discovering that spot. See, if you go out of your way sometimes in video games to explore the crooks and nannies, you get reward bubbled Ah, that's just the way it is. Not always the case in games like this, but... I'm going to assume... Okay, there was a bit of... There was like a huge frame dip right there. Memories. 
Okay, uh, one one complaint that every reviewer had about this game was that sometimes there's like a major uh there's either screen tearing or some like noticeable frame drops in certain areas, but Okay. Into the spooky abandoned asylum we go. I like how this place is just open. Why'd my controller vibrate? I don't need all that. Making me all nervous and shit. What's this? Oh, this is a picture of the place back when it was... Of course, they're gonna make all of the the pictures of it look all spooky and shit. God, this place looks more horrifying when it was working than it does now. Can I take that money, though? No, I can just look at it. <laughs> what good is this? This is this money to me. <laughs> I mean, seriously, though, do, do they still accept this currency in, in Italy? You could take it. I mean, you could take it. But okay, I guess not. Okay, what 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 have we here? Come, come, give me, thank you. Telegram, Volterra on blank Podesta blank. Please kindly notify any relatives of death, uh, of death of blank, inviting them to cover burial expenses. Failing which, corpse will be uh, sent to Pisa for study purposes. Could cost one hundred. Director S. Okay. Filing, not failing. Sorry, I read that wrong. Okay. Filing who to be sent to the where and the what and the why now, and, uh, windows are shuttered, place. But don't you think normally, like, places like this, if they're abandoned, would have some kind of, like, foreclosure sign or something, and they would have, like, a way of keeping people out? Uh, general blah blah blah, administrative file of Amara, administrated, uh, yada yada, da, da, da. There's never anything interesting on these things. Well, there's nothing interesting on this one anyways. Okay. Hello? Ooh, so spooky. Look, I don't care if there's n absolutely nothing in here. Like, I know that this, I mean, this place does give me an uneasy feeling, and I'm sure it's gonna make creepy noises and shit to fuck with me, but based on the developer's explanation of the game, I'm almost positive that there's no actual enemies or anything like that to worry about. They said they weren't going for the supernatural or anything like that. It's not that kind of game. Um, ba -ba -da 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 -da, name of the patron or today on a base of resident for uh, my marital status widow. These are just patient files, nothing interesting. All a bunch of medical jargon and technical crap that I don't know how to read half of it, anyways. It's all stuff that makes sense to the people that worked here, but not to us. Ooh. There is no power. Okay. Added to the synopsis menu. What? Oh, I must have found something important. Access the. So oh, okay. Synopsis. Experience. Renee's diary. Memories. Medical records. Okay, so what are the experiences? Oh, that's the, that's, that, that was the very beginning. Okay. Charlotte. Okay, that was the very beginning, so Renee's diary. What's this now? Uh, can I, how do I, oh, I flip it. Okay, so are there pages to the diary of the character that I'm playing as, that we will have to... Okay, I see, those are all blank. Wait, no, go back. That one wasn't blank. There we go. Hello. That's creepy. What do we got here? My memory of those years is hazy. Between the age of about seven and ten, my memories are disconnected, and I couldn't say how many times and how frequently the light used to come. My mother gave me a doll around that time. Charlotte. Oh. Thinking back to it makes me want to laugh. But at the beginning, I remembered that I was afraid of her. I thought she wanted to harm me, to kill me and take my place. But when the light came, she would stay beside me. And her presence. And her presence what? Keep going. Keep going. You're doing Did my not thing. Thank you. Me. I was able to talk to her, and so she became my best friend. At least until I was in grade two, when everything changed. She didn't laugh at me, and if I had to say something to my mother, I asked her to say it. When things inside me turned bad, she was the only one I could turn to. Now all of this makes me blush, but Charlotte was a real friend to me. I knew that she was just a doll. I wasn't stupid. But at the same time, she was real, too. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's difficult. 
My mother would cuddle her and tell her things. I guess she was trying to communicate with me. Hmm. But back then, I was too afraid to understand it. And also, you were a child that was in the insane asylum. Things couldn't have been too easy for you. Okay, uh, how far do we have to go here? Ah, here we go. Here's a page. Oh, nope, that's the end of the book. Okay, so... All right, so we found one page. Okay, so she had a doll that she was kind of afraid of as a kid, but eventually she got used to it and it became her friend, and then it became her only comfort in this hellhole. Makes sense. But because of her mental illnesses, she might have been projecting herself onto the doll in some kind of uh, um, schizophrenic deal, maybe. But... Supposedly, Renee's biggest thing is depression, so maybe the doll was more like a comfort thing. Anyways, what do we have here? Uh, Volta okay, 12 for 1926 uh, someone named Irene, 26 years old. This might have been a woman, a, like a women's asylum specifically, is what I'm getting at. Or maybe just this is the woman's wing. Uh, the woman is in a state of great agitation. She... Curses her three-year-old daughter for having ruined her life. She wanted to take us away. That damn kid wanted to kill us. She's the devil, I tell you. She's the devil herself. She destroyed my ability to give life. She left her sister in silence. Silence is scary. The mother explains that her husband, Eric K., worried about her daughter, called a doctor who, noticing the state of the woman and the potential danger to her daughter, urgently initiated the procedure for admission. The woman was admitted to observation in the single room, not because she was dangerous, but in view of her social class, it seemed the most appropriate choice. Wow. The mother has provided a generous donation to the institution in order to find a more suitable accommodation for her daughter. So... Wait a minute, I'm, I'm so confused. It sound, The note starts off sounding like it was the mother who got institutionalized, but then it switches to sound like it was the daughter who got institutionalized because the mother bribed them. See, now that's... But that's the thing that The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. The thing that they're trying to convey here is that these places were fucking sketchy as fuck, which is something that everyone already knew, but... Also dark as fuck. Well, that's because it's abandoned. Is this a bathing room? Oh boy, creepy abandoned bathroom is always my favorite. But yeah, like, okay, if this was real life right now, though, and even if I knew for a fact that there was absolutely nothing in here to worry about, I still would- No, no, she's freezing. She's alone. What? Let's look for her. What? Renee doesn't want to abandon her. Oh, uh, we probably gotta find that damn doll. This looks like a cozy place. Yeah, cozy. Probably where you got strapped into before you were made to... Yeah, now that we're in, we can't get back out. Isn't that lovely? Anyways. I forgot what the hell I was saying. Upstairs? Maybe not yet. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work because there's no power! Come on, Oversoul, don't be fucking stupid. You know how things work. What's this? Can I make... Oh yeah, again, another electronic. But look, more pictures. Yeah, I'd say they got a pretty accurate representation. I wonder if those photographs are real, the ones in the game. Interesting concept, no? Hello? Hello? Ugh, I don't like this spot. I do not like that. I hope that's rust. What was that? I heard a noise. I don't much appreciate it. Hello there. You're frightening looking. Picture. Did I do something? Nobody says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. Okay. I think I might have maybe turned the power on. Let's find out. Yes. I turned the power on. Yay. Progress. Let's go find this goddamn doll before moving on. Or before before ending this one, I mean. Let's find the fucking doll. It's probably upstairs. Wait a minute. 
Why do I need to call the lift down? Are the stairs blocked? I bet you anything the stairs are blocked. How much you want to bet the stairs are blocked? The stairs are not blocked! Then what the fuck was the purpose in that? Just for potential laziness? Okay. Charlotte, where are you? My most likely creepy looking little accessory. Hello, what's this? I'm gonna turn all the knobs and play with all the things. Let's search the wards on the upper floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows their location. The wards on the upper floor? Hey, what? Who? Where? When? I am on the upper floor. Don't fuck with me. What is this thing for? This is probably for a puzzle I have to solve later. I don't know what I'm doing quite yet. It's got like a minor Silent Hill vibe just without the monsters. You know? Bet you I can't go through here. Let's find Charlotte. She's alone. She's alone in the dark. Alone in the dark. That's the name of an old TV series. Okay. Now I'm just pulling shit out of my ass. Oh, there you are, Charlotte. I could tell by the ominous violin music that I was getting close to something. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Wow, you're fucking horrifying looking. Is this a flashback? All right, this is a flashback. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. Ugh. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Oh, I'm sure. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. I lived in constant fear that Mom would abandon her. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. Wow, this poor girl. Man, she had a rough life. Oh, are we gonna keep this- It's cold and it's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. Hold on, I want these keys. He can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Wait, where, 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 where? Charlotte is a good girl. Where am I, where am I taking this doll? Where am I? Oh, new chapter, huh? Chapter two? Well, you know what? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here, since we hit a new chapter and all seems like a good stopping point. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I know it's a little more slow-paced and there's not a lot of exciting shit happen, but it's not that kind of game. And you need to understand that before you dedicate yourself to continuing watching it any further. If you are interested in seeing a, a more uh, slow-paced, yet creepy, atmospheric narrative that deals... Uh, very heavily with the subject of depression and the horrifying things that they did to people in asylums back in the day, then please continue to watch. But if you're expecting something like Outlast 2, where I'm going to shit myself five times a minute and uh, run around from enemies and hoot and holler and scream, well, then you should watch Perception. I uploaded it yesterday. <laughs> um, so anyways, but uh, that, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you, possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye!